This video is brought to you by Zently. Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I want to show you 10 more augmented reality demos coming later this year to iOS 11. There is so much cool stuff that the developer community has been doing, so let's go ahead and jump in. First up, and probably my favorite of the batch, is this Anatomy app. This thing is insane. You can take one of hundreds of models and place it in AR or augmented reality, and then move your device around and twist and rotate the model to get a better look. But if you didn't think that that was enough, you can break these models apart and for example, like the video shows, show individual pieces of the skull that when put together, create our head. But when you break them apart, you can take a look at these little pieces and move around and see it and examine it in real time, almost like it's in the real world. I really like seeing practical applications like this, where AR is not just a gimmick anymore. It's something that I can legitimately see people in the medical field using, especially medical students when they're trying to learn about parts of the body or one of hundreds of other 3D models that will be available in the app. Now next up, this one is slightly less practical, but if you're trying to learn about the solar system, this would be so dope. This is an AR demo of the solar system wherever you are. In this case, it's in somebody's living room, and you can see they're walking around from planet to planet. This is one that I really want to try out just because I feel like it'd be fun to take your device and walk around your room and go from the sun all the way to Pluto. Is, I think Pluto still counts as a planet. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people disagree on that. But anyway, you can see most of the solar system and I think it's really neat. And now you can just pull out your phone and be like, hey, here's the sun, here's Earth, here's Mars, here's Jupiter, and do a tour of the solar system in your own house. This is tic-tac-toe in AR. Not the most groundbreaking thing we've seen in the augmented reality space, but it's pretty novel. And I can see some people getting involved with this when AR launches later this year. One idea that I wanna explore a little bit more that I just touched on in the last video was the idea of adventures or gaming in augmented reality. And this really cool company has come out with two crazy demos. Rainforest Garage 1 and 2 show you going on this adventure with a little friend that comes and guides you along. First you cut open the garage and you can look inside and then later you go into this entirely new world and I could imagine that this would be really cool for anybody that wanted to try this technology out. It's not the craziest thing ever. It's not going to change the way you use your phone. But if you're looking for some kind of an adventure in the real world that gets you up and moving around rather than just sitting on the couch playing video games or even sitting stationary and using a VR headset, this is going to get you moving around and exploring new areas while walking around with this entirely new environment that takes place exclusively on your phone. The problem with AR so far is I think that realism is a big issue because at the end of the day, unless you have a headset on, you're, you're still in the environment around you. I think demos like Rainforest Garage, while you're still just looking at your phone, are doing a pretty good job of making AR feel real. Next up is Pac-Man AR, and this one is pretty early in development, but still very neat. You're walking around, instead of just tracing Pac-Man or using a controller, you have become the Pac-Man, and you're just going around here and eating bubbles, you're eating ghosts. It's sort of strange because I've never really seen first-person Pac-Man before, but it's kind of fun because in the environment around you, you're collecting these dots and going through these mazes using your phone as the controller, basically, using yourself as the controller. This looks like a pretty early version of Pac-Man, but it's something that I didn't even imagine would be coming to AR. I mean, who thought we'd be playing Pac-Man in first person with our phones in 2017? Now, before we move on, I want to take just a moment to thank Zently for sponsoring today's video and making it possible. Zently is the only app built for renters like you. It's a completely free service that aims to free up some of your time by making those pesky renter tasks easier than ever before. A lot of renters use two or three apps to find their bills and split them and pay them, but Zently finds bills straight from your credit card transactions and allows you to settle the split bills with your rent each month. It's really easy and it'll help you get some of your money back. You can also pay your rent through Zently, making sure that your payments are sent reliably and securely each and every single time. You can file fix-it requests through Zently as well, so if if anything in your rental ever breaks, contacting your landlord has never been easier, and Zently makes a lot of the process automated with texts and emails. Right now, Zently is only available in the United States, so if you're interested in giving it a go, make sure you visit that very first link down below in the description. If you are a renter, check it out. Now moving on, this is a demo that I also think is incredibly useful. It shows you using augmented reality to measure the area around your room. I talked about in my last video how the AR tape measurement app looked incredibly useful, and I feel the same way about this one. Imagine a world where you're just carrying around your phone to do measurements in your room, and you don't need a ruler or a tape measure that you have to carry around with you. You can just point your phone at a wall and trace it, and somehow this device is gonna be able to know how many feet or meters or centimeters or inches 
this object or wall or room will be. That's so useful and anybody who does interior design I think would love to see that one. If you're into tabletop gaming, this is a pretty neat demo that I found. The graphics look absolutely ridiculous. Once again, you're pointing your phone at a table and this entire dynamic environment springs up in front of you. You can scoot closer or farther or circle around it in 360 degrees. And this one's a little bit different just because I feel like with AR in general, we're usually dealing with the entire environment around us, like 360 degrees around us rather than just 360 degrees around a table. But it's kind of cool because you can go in or out or scoot around and take a look at the action and tap on the screen to place troops or weapons or machinery. It's a really cool demo and I never thought about the application of tabletop games in AR until I saw this. Now some of you might not know, but I'm a huge Tesla fan and some of the coolest demos I've seen for AR have to do with Tesla or SpaceX. There's a Tesla Model 3 AR demo that you can see right on the screen and it doesn't have any real use, like you're not actually seeing a Tesla Model 3, but in case you're like me and you dream about owning one of the cars one day, you can plop it right in front of your house, change the color, change the paint, see how it looks, and imagine that you do have a Tesla Model 3, even though it's just on your phone, but still really cool. This next one allows you to view furniture in augmented reality to see how it would really look if you put it in your room right now. I could see this being so useful for people who shop at Ikea or other furniture stores. I can't tell you how many times I've been at Ikea and I'm just like, I really wanna get this, I just don't know if it's gonna fit. Or I don't really know how that would look in the room at home with the lighting or the wall or the flooring. Now you can just drop it right in front of you and see how that piece of furniture, that desk, that chair, that sofa looks almost with your own eyes on the screen in front of you. I think this could be one of those ideas that really pushes AR forward just because who hasn't wondered exactly how a piece of furniture would look? Now you can just drag it in front of you and see exactly how it would look if you put it in your house right now. And finally, I wanna show you one more application of augmented reality inside of a shopping app. Now, if you talk about selling more products, AR could be the thing to do that. The example in this video is looking at a pillow online once again. I don't know, how will this look in my house? And now you can place it on the couch in front of you along with all the other pillows to see if it would blend or look right in the environment around you. I couldn't imagine using this for paintings or shelves. Once again, furniture is another application here. But being able to look at something online, not really being sure if it would look right in your house and then plopping it down in augmented reality in front of you. This is just such a cool idea and something that I hadn't even thought about being a thing before AR was announced. There's so much cool stuff. I have to hand it to developers for creating all of these experiences. They are killing the game this time around and I can't wait to actually get hands on with these when iOS 11 launches later in 2017. If you guys wanna see the full videos of anything I linked or referenced in this video, I'll link it down below in the description. And if you enjoyed watching as always, it would really help me out if you hit that like button and hit subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos on iOS 11 and augmented reality in the future. I've been Sam, hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you later. And you don't need to get out a ruler. What's the thing called where you measure a ruler? It's longer than a ruler? A tape measure, where you don't need to get a tape measure. <laughs>